Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing an Erin Condren haul. I have a few different items. They did send these to me. I am so excited about their new calendar years. I have three different petite planners that I'm going to show you. You know that I love a traveler's notebook system. I share my traveler's notebook quite often. These are A5 size, so they fit into an A5 traveler's notebook. And I just feel like it's a good addition to any traveler's notebook system because they have some really unique things. We'll go through those. I also have their monthly designer sticker book. This is the stickers that have like different designs that match their different Erin Condren colors. And then lastly, I do have a monthly planner. I chose this cover. I wanted a Christmas Christmas one because I don't have a lot of Christmas covers. So I thought this was a cute new one. It's obviously not Christmas time right now, but I really, really like this cover. So this is a new cover that just came out. Let's actually do the monthly planner right now. I love their monthly planners. I buy one every year. I use it for different things. I used to use it for budgeting. I am not great at budgeting. Maybe I need to use it for budgeting again. One thing I love about their monthly planner is the monthly dashboard. It's different than the life planner. Let's dive into this one first. I'm sure you all know that Erin Condren, I'm a huge fan. I've been using an Erin Condren planner since 2009. I think about 2009. I can't remember if 2008 or 2009 was my first Erin Condren. I've been using them for a long time. They looked quite a bit different than they do now. One thing I always loved about them is the quality of their materials is top notch. Not a lot of planner companies can compete with Erin Condren quality. Now we all have different styles and things that we prefer in our planners, but Erin Condren I feel like has some of the best coil. Their covers are some of my favorites. They're all removable. I love this new cover. It's actually not totally my style normally. This cover is actually just called Christmas. They're on sale right now with their 25% off sale. I'm not sure how long that sale's going on, but it's on sale for $31.88. The base price of this is normally $42.50. So it's a great price right now. And the coil being gold is a $10 upgrade. It normally comes with the silver coil, which I also love their silver coil. I sometimes want to get the gold coil, but I often just choose the silver because I actually really like it. So they have lots of covers, lots of new covers if you want to hop over there and look. This is seven by nine. You can also get the monthly planners in eight and a half by 11 size. It's a 12 month planner. It is a January start. The interior pages are all their beautiful 80 pound Mohawk paper. If you haven't used Erin Condren paper before, it has a slight texture to it. It's not like totally smooth, which is great for a lot of reasons. First, the ridging on textured paper is just better. Like you won't have a as much ridging. The bleed through is incredible. It takes pens and markers and all sorts of writing tools so much better than other papers. Some people prefer a smooth paper, but I actually love this paper. The other coils available on the monthly are your platinum. You can get the rose gold, which is a $10 add-on, or the sunrise coil, which is an ombre gold to pink color, which is also an additional $10. So the only one that is kind of covered in their base price is the silver. You can personalize the cover. I put my name down here, Hannah Craner. You can also choose not to, which I often do because my daughter also uses Erin Condren, so she'll sometimes want to come down and look through my covers, and obviously she probably won't want to use this one. So often I leave them blank or I'll put like a cute little quote or something on there instead of my name. You can do whatever you want. You also have the choice of the interior pages. So I chose Evolve in here, which is their standard colorful planner. You can also choose Bold Blooms, which is a little bit more muted, but definitely not a neutral. I love the bold blooms. And then canvas is their totally neutral. So you have three different options for the interior design. Let's flip through the monthly so you can see what you have going on here. So first page is the name page, and then you have the same tabs that are in their normal life planner. There's the January, February, and these are the standard Erin Condren colors that marches the really nice seafoam green. April is the more bluish purple. May is always peach. June is a turquoise. July is a navy. August is my favorite and yellow. September is a more red toned purple. October is orange. November is a different teal. And December is like a 
brighter limey green. The first page is you have your 2024 to 2025 year at a glance. You have 12 boxes here that you can use for goals or whatever you'd like. Some people use it for birthdays. You can use it not months too. Like this doesn't have to be your 12 months. You could have different areas of life and set your goals in those areas. A notes page before you get into your January tab. The January tab opens up to the calendar. Very versatile and wonderful layout here. The boxes are just over an inch and a half wide and about an inch and a third high. A notes section, really big area for the header, which has benefits if you like to decorate or do different things up there. You have a whole inch and a half up there. Sometimes I wish that they would have less header space and more planning space, but they always have a really cute design going on up there. So I'm sure that they don't want to lose that. Here is what the dashboard looks like in the monthly planner. It is different than, let me pull out a life planner. All right, here's my current life planner. Let's just switch to the January so you can see. So the dashboard page is looks like this in the life planner. I actually love the way the monthly planner's dashboard is. The only thing I wish about the monthly's dashboard is that it didn't have titles. Like over here, nothing is labeled. There are no titles. Here you have goals, important dates, important projects, and tracking. They're both great. They're both great. I just would prefer if this was just blank headers so I could write my own things in. I love the tracking down here. There's enough room for four goals that you can work on. I do wish it was lined. I wish this one was lined too. I just prefer lined boxes, but everyone's different with that. A lot of people love blank boxes. It does leave things a little bit more open-ended. So that is what their monthly dashboard looks like. And by the way, this is the sunrise coil if you're interested in that. So you have pink to gold. Then after the monthly dashboard, you get notes pages. So this is what's different between a life planner and the monthly. The monthly has similar amount of pages in the planner, but instead of having weekly layouts here. They have the same notes page on this side and then they have four spreads of notes pages. So you could do whatever you want. These could be your weeklies. Like if you want to set up your own weekly here, it could be. So you have your four spreads of notes pages and then the same notes page that's in the life planner here. Tons of notes. What I'm thinking about using this for this coming year is actually a journal. I wanted to use the monthly spread as gratitude. In here, I would just use these for journaling through the month. And I think it's a good amount of, of that. And I think it would be a beautiful journal and a great keepsake. And you could put pictures and different things in here. So that's what each month looks like. They're all the same. It's very open-ended. If you follow Kristen Kramer, she uses this book and makes her own spreads each week, which I think is really neat. So at the very end, there's the notes pages for December. You have your heritage and awareness observances. This is the same page that's in the life planner. You have your 2026 and then the sticker sheets are in the back. So you are missing the Evolve stickers don't come with this which no biggie to me. I've ne I never <laughs> use their stickers that are at the back of the book. You just have the appointment stickers. And then you still have the calendar, but you don't get the perpetual calendar, which again, that's no biggie to me. You do have the option of doing their add-ons. If you've seen the add-ons options that you can get in the books now, it's a super exciting thing that they added on with the Life Planner this year. There are five different things you can add on. They're $10 and you can only add one on. So just bringing my iPad up so you can see the different options. They have 40 lined pages, 40 productivity pages, 40 goal setting pages, 40 budget pages, and 40 work pages. Let's see if we can look at them. This is what the project pages look like. It just has project details, resources needed, due dates, and kind of a to-do list. Those are your work pages. The budget pages look like this. You have a spending summary. It has date, description, category, and total. Here are the goal setting page options. You set your goals over here, and then there's progress trackers on this side. And this is what the productivity pages look like. It has three different sections on this side, a to-do list, a box, and a doc grid over here. And then you obviously know what lined notes pages look like. So there is the monthly book. Love it. 
I'm very excited about this. I'm gonna show you some of the petite planner options. They do have lots of different things that you can choose from. Let's just do one at a time. So this is the Petite Habit Planner. It is $14.50, currently on sale for $10.88. It is an A5 size, which is 5.7 by 8.25. The cover is 120 pound cardstock. It is coated like a matte lamination on it. Interior pages are 80 pound text weight paper. So it's a little bit different than their normal Mohawk 80 pound paper. It doesn't have the texture to it. It's I actually love this paper, but it is different. It is a sewn book. This book can last up to 12 months. The Habit Tracker has long-term habits here. So there's 12 different boxes on each page and you can put the habit here. So if it's water, then there is enough for a whole year of tracking the water. It might be working out a whole year. It looks like you have four different habits you can track over a year. These are weekly intentions and focus. So each week you can have up to 10 habits that you track to do's and how it went down here. And there's enough for a whole year's worth and they're these cute colors on each page. At the end of the month, you have a end month reflections, habits working well, new habits to try, and next month's focus before it goes into the next month. So it's like that until the end of the year. And then at the very end, you have a 12 month reflection accomplishments and what I'm proud of. These books do have a little folder in the back and a cute sticker sheet that goes with it. This is the Petite Self-Care Journal. It is currently on sale for $7.13. If you buy four of the Petite Planner System, you actually get 20% off on top of that, which is amazing. Let's go into this one. You have your opening page, some instructions on how to use this book. So this has 80 pages in it. I'm assuming it's about three months or so worth of daily pages but I'm not, it doesn't have that listed and I haven't counted, but you have a weekly overview where you put this week self-care this week looks like how I need support and what support looks like. And then you have this journaling page for the day and it has today's positive thought, mood log, sleep log, today's self-care and other ways I took care of me today. Seven days of that, they all look the same, the same color before you get into a tracking page. This, you can track so many different things through the week. You can put on here your water that you need to get in, your medication, your walks, moods you can keep track of. And then there's a reflection for the end of the week, how I took care of myself, best part of the week, next week I will, self-care that worked well for me. Before it goes into the next week, which you have a new color. Let me just flip through these colors really quick. So. And I have a mauve color. Here's like an orangey peachy color. This is like a tan, a gray, green color, blue, and a darker blue, and then so forth. So this may just be like two months worth. At the end of the book, you have a celebrating you. Let's make sure that I didn't miss a page. Yeah, celebrating you. So you can do some journaling of how you've grown, what you've learned about yourself. And then self-care that works for me, things that you figured out. And then you do get a sticker sheet in the back here that just has lots of little flags and functional stickers available there. So that's a great thing if you want to spend a couple of months focusing on your own self-care. I think that's a great book to get. Here we have the Daily Planner Petite Planner. And I feel like everyone for a while there was obsessed with these. I felt like everyone was using them with their, with their life planner. And I know why because it is a great layout super portable it's a great daily i love this so much it does have stitching on this it is kind of like a tan color which looks great with these bold bloom colors the only cover option available is in the bold blooms each of these is a quarter of the year so you can buy all four they are ten dollars and 88 cents on sale right now normally fourteen dollars and fifty cents if you buy all four or four books from the petite planner line you get an additional 20 percent off and that's all the time like that you always get 20 percent off if you buy four so this is the January through March book and you have your month at a glance. It is in that bold blooms color scheme. I love the sidebars on the bold blooms and that they are kind of shaded in. I have stickers that match the bold blooms color scheme with like florals and different things and different headers that you could add on here that would be so cute with this book and it would still keep it pretty simple. 
if you're interested, I'll link that below. There is the holidays listed. These boxes are quite small in the petite planner. They are an inch and three sixteenths by an inch and one sixteenth. In the day, you have these three different sections, which you could do. I used to put the time here. I would start at like 6 a.m. and kind of have morning, afternoon, and evening and have this be my time blocking over here. But you could have it be work, school. You could have different kids, your three kids. You could have just so many things. Label these however you want. And then you have a checklist here and then an open box with your little mini calendar. I think the mini calendar is only on that side of the page. And as you can see, the Saturday, Sunday is half of a page, which I actually prefer. I like that. That is your daily and it is dated and each month has the colors that match the bold blooms color scheme it comes with your holidays and observances stickers so you can add those in if you'd like it also comes with this functional sticker sheet and lastly let's go into their designer sticker book this is edition 10 every year they come out with a new one of these i used to think that they were the greatest things ever and i would buy them every year and now i feel like they're lacking a little bit i'm going to show them to you because you may look at this and be like that's exactly what I wanted to go with my monthly planner. So this is $16.50. Erin Condren loves their foiled stickers. So these are foiled and I'm sure I've said this before. I'm not a huge foil fan. I don't love foiled stickers. I think they're fun. The point of this is that they match Erin Condren's monthly colors. It just makes it kind of fun to decorate with them. There are things that I would totally use in this and I think that they're fun. I just liked their old ones better. So one of the reasons I would buy these was for their decor stickers because I thought that they were so fun to add on and they matched the Erin Condren colors. And they've really minimized their decor stickers. So they do have a few and they're they're cute. And then they have these washi strips, which they're about a six and a quarter. So they may not go across the full page, but they're cute and they match. And then at the bottom you have reminder, important today, urgent and to do. And then you have some birthday stickers, some like celebration stickers, a box, some habit trackers, and a little quote, a little thing, three asterisks, and these like flaggy things. And every month is the same in this. So there's your February, cute. Here is March. And I'm not sure if you're even seeing that these are metallic, but it is metallic in the green. April, and there's the purple metallic. May is their peachy. I have a sticker that looks almost just like that in my in mine. That's funny. I have the little floral gloves with the same peachy sticker. But yeah, they that's cute. June, you have like beachy ones. July, there's some travel, ice cream cones, some summery looking stickers. August, you have your back to school stickers. Very cute. September, you're starting the fall stickers, so you have some cute purples. Here's the October stickers. There's some cute ones there. November, and then December, you have, I love the gingerbread houses, that's really cute. And you have a Hanukkah, menorah, and oh, there's a little dreidel. If you celebrate Hanukkah, you have some stickers in here for you too. And then that is it. And I don't mean to be negative about this because I think it's pretty cute. I do. I think it's fine. I just miss their old ones that, that seem to be a little bit more decor focused and less functional stickers because I feel like you get a lot of these functional stickers already in the back of your planner and... I would rather it just be a page of decor, but I know some people don't even want decor in their planners and they want to have all functional stickers. So maybe this lends to be more universal. Thanks so much for watching this Erin Condren haul. I hope you enjoyed. If you are interested in any of these items, I do have an affiliate link below. If it's your first time purchasing from Erin Condren, I actually have a $10 off link also below so you can use that. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment. I will try to get to that quickly. You can also message me over on Instagram. Erin Condren is one of my favorites and I always love sharing and so I was super thrilled that they sent me these items to share with you. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll talk to y'all very soon. See ya, bye.